back like we never left BDA. We had so many comments this week, and this chapter was so crazy. I decided to just, you know, do a quick question <laughs> Q and A of the, you know, all the questions and the comments that we got that were that were left on the, the video. So thank you guys so much. So let's do this. Um, Marco One Piece Theorist, bro, want to stream tomorrow on my channel? I scheduled it already. Really want to discuss the chapter, bro. I am in, for sure. I'm in. Uh, let me just reply. Shit, I'm in, bro. All right, so love or nothing zero zero. This is Team Blackbeard does it again. And Abdullah Agni Alagamdi said, as King always say, Team Blackbeard all day, 24-7, 365. Ah, uh, I'm on Team Dragon, bro. Look, okay, it's, it's, it starts. Emmanuel Barry says, fuck Blackbeard, Dragon will rape him. Alpha and Lie, Lucy, Abdullah, replica of Team King of Lightning, damn. Cool uh, Blur says, just for clarification, it was never stated or hinted that Blackbeard destroyed Vertigo. Baltigo, he means. Destruction of Baltigo Island can and should be written off as collateral damage because there are monsters fighting on both Blackbeard and Dragon's side. I agree. I agree. And my boy Kieran with the correction. Thank you, Kieran. All right, Uch Uchiha Itachi. We are not sure that Blackbeard did it because there is fire all over Baltigo. So it could be a Kainu or Sabo who's responsible for the fire. Wow, a Kainu. Didn't think of that one. Unless Blackbeard struck a deal with a Kainu and then all of a sudden a Kainu showed up there. That would be crazy. I feel like the destruction was caused by the bouts from both sides and not just Blackbeard. Yeah, yeah, that's more than likely. So yeah, I don't know. J. James said, yeah, I don't know why people want one of the most hyped up characters to get off screen. Dragon is obviously still active. Same thing with Marco. Yep. Boy 332, that ending. No, my boy Monkey D. Dragon. Lies, bro. All lies. Team Blackbeard, Team Blackbeard. Yo, people are really riding for Blackbeard. This is crazy right now. This is crazy. All right, Oscar Dotel. Damn, was really hoping Dragon kicked Blackbeard's ass. It's still early. It's still early, bro. It's still early. I think Oda will show us what happened with Blackbeard versus Dragon in a flashback. More than likely. More than likely, King Uber. Calling bullshit on Blackbeard destroying Vertigo. I mean, <laughs> Baltigo. I think I think they called it Vertigo in that translation. I'm not sure. Um, he's powerful, but not that powerful, I hope. Yeah, I don't think he destroyed Baltigo. I mean, he could destroy Baltigo, but Dragon wasn't there. Brago, I think Baltigo destroyed because of the fight Blackbeard and Dragon. I don't think the drag the this damage was called by BN. What's BN? Uh I'm not sure. I'm not sure Brago that stopped his brother. Yes, bro. Thank you so much. I, I actually realized it after so many people said it. My boy Steli. This chapter's really good. There's Hunter X there is Hunter X Hunter chapter out, but raw I need translation. I just read it. Uh, review should be up soon. Now turn it to 940. I thought the video was frozen. Yeah, it's funny because oh, no, back crap. Um, 920 to 940, it was like I mean, it's like that's 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 when I realized exactly what was going on. Then it's like boom, it hit me. It just hit me, bro. I didn't know what to do. I was just so stunned. I was just so stunned. So that's what happened. So that's what happened, bro. All right, Roman C carrot equals Yonko level kappa. But serious, Carrot is amazing. She's hilarious, and I do want to know how strong she is. If she probably ends up a bit weaker than Sanji, 80 to 90 percent of Sanji or something. I'm such a typical One Piece fan. First thing I think of is power level. <laughs> Bro, we all do. We all do, honestly. Um, I don't know how strong Carrot is. I I think she's probably around Frankie, Robin, right around there. She's not. I think right now they need somebody that's on Luffy, that's on Luffy's or Sanji's level. They need somebody there. I don't think Carrot is that. I think Dragon is making his move on the referee. I agree. I agree. You feel exactly the same like me. Totally shocking, bro. I was stunned. I haven't seen Hina in a while. Yeah, I, I, I haven't either. I haven't either. Um, uh, I can't remember the last time I saw her. Wait, wait. I haven't seen Hina in a while. She's so sexy as hell. <laughs> Crack the fuck up so straightforward. Yeah, bro. You know, call it like a seed. Oi, 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 oi. Zay, ha, ha, ha. My boy, Mac. Yo, it's the legend. Hey, what that, el what that ending? Holy shit. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy, bro. I'm going to edit that out. I don't think that dragon got defeated. And I made a theory that Blackbeard gave the location of Baltigo to the world government. Um, What do you... Damn, Lopez replied, what do you mean? How is that not a theory? Everyone said they will fight. I made the theory before this chapter. Um, Let's see. Uh, 
that's cool. I gotta check that theory out. If Vince Smoke Desanji, I don't know why so many people sleep on Blackbeard. Like so many people are surprised that Baltico is destroyed, but as the Guru Guru fruit, I'm pretty sure he's been practicing with it over the past two years and can easily destroy anything he wants. I mean, I didn't expect him to go to Baltico so soon, but how can no one think that this was a possibility? Everyone just jumps on a dragon hype train and expects him to win. Before all we know, dragon and revolutionaries aren't dead yet. Just too many people sleep on strong characters. That's a great point. My boy Taekwon agrees. That's an awesome point because, I mean. I, the thing is, Dragon's been hyped up so much for him to get wiped out like that. Unlikely. Unlikely. That's solid, brother. Thank you, bro. I think it's a cover-up that didn't take down. They didn't take down Baltico. I don't think that that much pirates took down Dragon's and his subordinates. The whole Black Bear squad went or did they? Carried for new straw hat? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, I do, I, it's definitely a cover-up. It's freaking news, bro. Um, yeah, I don't think they're taking out the revolutionaries. Uh, like the whole squad, I mean, Burgess is already done. I mean, I do think Black Bay squad is powerful, but not that powerful. Take down the whole revolution? Nah. Revolutionaries? No way. Or Sun Wukong. Exactly, dude. I agree with your thoughts on Dragon of Blackbeard right now. Yes, like, yes, Blackbeard and his crew are savage, but in no way there was an actual battle between them. As if the most dangerous man in the world and the reps could go out off screen. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That's not happening. What did Ty say? I think it was a battle, just not a battle to the death. It sucks that it was off screen, but Mark and his crew and Blackbeard and his crew had a battle off screen. Shanks and Kaido, however that happened, was off screen. A lot happens that way, so it's nothing new, but I think Dragon and his crew got away safely after the battle. True, Ty, you have a point. Either way, all I know is both sides are still good right now. It probably wasn't an all out battle. There really wasn't a winner or a loser. Yeah, I don't think it was a full battle, bro. I don't think so. Thanks, and yeah, just a clash happened most likely. It's cool that they fought because I remember when people were not sure if Dragon was as strong as Ayanko. Some people thought Dragon was weaker than Yonko, but this battle kind of hints that Dragon and the reps are a force equal to that of Yonko and his crew members since the fight ended in draw, most likely. Uh, uh, I don't know, because I don't think it was a fight. I really don't. The, LOL, a puncher to Guru Guru could do that, but yes, he didn't be an allies. There's goals. Their goals are different at the end of the day. You know, that's funny. I, I'm, I'm going to make a full video on that, about them being allies doing that Mustafa, because... People like completely rule that out. And I know, I guess because they think Dragon is a good guy. And supposedly it's based on perspective, all that stuff. But I think if Dragon saw this as an opportunity to accomplish his goal, why not use Blackbeard? Of course, you're not going to trust him, but why not use him, right? Um, Taekwon 1000, boy, Ty, I knew it was going to go down with Blackbeard and Dragon, bro. This was a great chapter. Keep me posted on the stream, bro. I got you. Not sure when I am, but I'll definitely let you know when. Manga stream, yeah. I just read the the, the, the actual official version on Manga stream recently. Stelly Sabo's Foster, bro. Thank you, sir. Sniper King 99, appreciate that. <laughs> Damn Lopez L, you can straight you can straight out tell because of the lesbian here. <laughs> bro, that's messed up. <laughs> Did someone notice that in the newspaper appears someone very similar to Luchi? Really? Oh, I think that's Sabo, bro. I think that's Sabo. Dragon, Sabo, that, is that Kuma? That, 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 that's a top hat. I think that's Sabo, bro. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And we got Blackbeard, it looks like, at the bottom here. Yeah, that's what it looks like, bro. All right. Dragon and his homeboys could have left before Blackbeard got there. I think that's a possibility. That reaction said it all. Damn, Blackbeard. Yep. <laughs> bro, Naveen, bro. That's how I feel. Maybe, maybe Dragon is the one who destroyed Baltigo. Yes, that's definitely possible to throw them all. Revolutionary Army worked weak as shit. <laughs> oh, Dan Lopez said L. Dragon is smarter than you think. Blackbeard just has his earthquake fruit. Blackbeard just has to use his, his earthquake fruit once and he can destroy the island. So. So are they really weak or is Blackbeard just super strong, idiot? Dang, going hard, Blue Moon. Revolutionary Army only give a shit to world government. Fighting the pirate is a dumbass decision, so they may have retreated. Yeah, that's a good point. I feel I have a feeling Otis trolling until Blackbeard got shit on my mic. Fuck it, he tried. That's possible. The, mo the world most wanted man can't be easily defeated like that. Carlo Miranda. Yeah, no way. Really, guys, you think that Blackbeard? Nah, impossible. Damn, it's a live stream. This chapter is awesome. Go to back at it again. <laughs> back at it again with the awesome chapters, Constantino. Team Blackbeard. Yo, I see more Team Blackbeards than Team Dragons. This chapter just ruined my day. I love Blackbeard. I love Revolutionaries more. I can't today. <laughs> Fuck Dragon. Team Blackbeards. <laughs> Yo, this can play out in a lot of ways, but I believe it wasn't a big battle as, they, as it may seem. But 
but I think it was more of a confrontation. Dragon probably knew since his headquarters was discovered it is no longer safe to stay there, so he has to destroy all plans that he had against the world government. Dragon most likely said some badass D clan knowledge and showed Black Bit his strength too and said, I ain't the man to fuck with and blew all of them away and destroyed the island. I like how you said that, bro. I like that. That's cool. I like that. Where do you see that? Let me reply real quick. Where do I see what? Let's see what. <laughs> Twat. Where do I see what? Like, damn. Damn. <laughs> wow. This chapter is legendary. Hey, what if Sabu is evil? He'll betray Dragon. He knew Burgess was hiding. He attacked Fujitora not to save Luffy, but actually start a war with the Marines. <laughs> That's so far fetched, bro. No, no, no. I can't imagine this. Yeah, it would be real interesting. It would be. <laughs> Hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> Blackbeard, fuck up Dragon. I fucking knew it. Nah, bro. Chill. Nope, Goat is a troll. Most likely he fled after a scrimmage. Uh, people, lol, people had this dude about Blackbeard. Kaido, no way he ran. Uh, most likely made a deal with Blackbeard like Brock was. Thank you, thank you, Bradley. Thank you. Yeah, they're gonna sneak up at everyone in more Jor marriage or like be like, lol, be like surprise bitches. Yeah, man, so much hype to come. Damn, that will be sick as fuck. Hey, the interaction between Carrot and the others was freaking really hilarious and wasn't expecting an ending that huge. Carrot taking Luffy out instantly, my favorite part. That yeah, <laughs> but am I? Am I the only one that noticed at the and at the bottom left the newspaper with Big Mom? That was Big Mom. Bro, I gotta go back and look at this. What happens in this chapter is so crazy. Someone please answer. I don't really care to be spoiled because I can't find a chapter anywhere yet. This is really early when I got the, the chapter on Z anime or something. I just read it in a kiss manga. I personally don't care for the beginning, but the middle or ending is hype, yeah. Pedro makes a really good lookout. Pedro for Nakamak, yo, D. Uh, the last three, three chapters have been 6 out of 10. Nothing happened until the last page. Yeah, 6 out of 10. That's a bit that's, uh, so harsh, Froob. Right, sevens. I suggested to Roger in the comment this chapter could pass B going to Blackbeard and the Revolutionaries, but this wasn't the way I thought it would be. Would be. Leave it to Oda to always hiding the juicy stuff in the sidelines. As usual, still a great chapter. New character was stowaway. Yeah, we all knew that. Black bitch strikes again. My thoughts exactly. Yeah, bro, that's what it was. Ah, oh, man, all the comments are great today. But guys, let me know what you thought about the chapter again. This was hype. I loved it. But let me know what you think. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, that would be dope. Have a... So my boy Adam Alakad, like, while I'm editing, he, he commented. And I was like, yo, I got to reply to it, all right? So this is, you know... Extra, extra. Let's go, let's go. So, um, boy, Adam, good grief, Ace. The Black Bid Pirates have proven themselves to be a threat. Is it through their strength as fighters or cheating, like regular, like regular real world pirates would do? I suspect, I suspect a combination of the two. Like everyone else, I'm honestly very surprised by this event. Now, they did say that the base was in ruins, and everyone assumes that this is an, this is indicative of a loss on the part of, of the revolutionaries. It could be equally possible that the revolutionaries simply have nowhere to hide now, but are in good condition regardless. Oda didn't simply bring up the revolutionaries just because he wanted to go back to the plot point, that, but most likely to connect to the reverie going on right now. I assume that either Dragon, Shanks, or Blackbeard was going to interrupt the reverie with my strongest candidate being Dragon. Ex exactly. I agree. He said, however, that may change. I wonder if Blackbeard would hold the reverie hostage. This is highly unlikely given the guaranteed marine presence due to security, but a guy can dream. Bro, I, I have I, I have an idea about that, but I like what, how you're thinking. So this chapter also reminded us of how many kingdoms slash countries are in the Straw Hat's debt. Further reinforcing the belief that Luffy would be one of the main topics discussed during the reverie. Definitely, definitely. It's getting hype. As a result of their allegiances to Luffy, I hope I'm not stepping out of my place and believing in the possibility of civil war or mass defection to the revolutionaries if they show up. Oh boy. Such would greatly complicate the geop Such would greatly complicate the geopoliticals. <laughs> I can't talk. Such would greatly complicate the geopolitical situation of the One Piece world once again, which will make it more even more interesting in seeing how Oda handles it. Nefertari Cobra's illness makes me want to believe that Oda is foreshadowing his death exactly, or future inability to rule, either causing Viva to take the throne or for her to carry out her father's wish to be married off to someone. I won't speculate who. We have enough marriage trouble with Sanji the Tea Party, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this Stellian Wapo will get absolutely shat on by the other kingdoms in attendance or for Sao to beat Stelly since I'm not a fan of either characters. Carrot showing up, I hope will help the team, but I don't know exactly how. Anyway, which kingdom are you most looking forward to seeing again in the Reverie, Brago? Adam, as always, with the awesome comment. Okay, so I agree, the Blackfoot, Blackbeard, they're a threat, right? And I think it's, it's both. It's, it's strength, as fighters, and they, they do whatever it takes to win, cheating. But, you know, this is a pirate, you know, I don't know any cheating um, exists there. 
Um, yeah, and you know what you're saying with the, everyone assumes that it's a loss to revolutionaries, but no, they could have destroyed it on their own. And the dragon is not going to be hyped up to be taken out by Blackbeard. That's that just doesn't make sense. Um, I, what you say about them um, holding the Reverie hostage? I have an idea about that. We released that video this weekend. This chapter reminds us of how many kingdoms. Yes. Yeah, so the Straw Hats Luffy is going to be a main topic, and it's going to be interesting to see the reactions of all these people um, to Luffy and, and and when he's brought up because he's Riku, he's in debt. Got our boy. Uh, Elizabeth, you're gonna have you know Cobra, like you're gonna have people there that's gonna be riding for Luffy. So shit may go south quickly. Civil War, like you said, and Vivi. I think either Cobra gets killed at the Reverie, and Vivi, ha Vivi would have to leave like right away. I think this could be a foreshadowing that Sabo will be at the Reverie because Stelly is gonna. I mean, Stelly is the king now, but we, that would be cool to see what he's what he thinks if they show up at the Reverie. If Dragon and those guys show up at the Reverie, right? Um, Carrot, I don't know which how she's gonna help. I mean, I think she's she's strong, but she's not Sabo. I mean, not Sabo Sanji, Luffy Zoro level. So I don't think that. Um, I'm most I'm most looking forward to seeing. I'm interested in what King Cobra is talking about as far as the the Void Century and what they did because it's, it's interesting that he doesn't even know. You know, he doesn't even know, but he wants to find out now. He's he's curious. So um, that's. That's something I'm really interested in. As always, Adam, thank you for the comment. And this is truly the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day.